Hey guys, Devin Burris here with Power Shine Pressure Washing. It is Monday, May 20th. It is currently 9.50 in the morning. Use my muddy truck. Um, the dirt road has been absolutely terrible, but gonna be doing a little house washing. Got my hoses all pulled. We're drawing water. We got 200 foot of hose. Pulled all the way down and around the back. We're gonna start there wash our way around this side and then do the other two sides uh, sitting on about 45 gallons of sh still all this down here is green got a dirty tank that's for you joe deer we're gonna clean that up mr deer has been talking about how nice my truck is and i just want to give a shout out to him at powerful improvements he's been a really big inspiration to me i don't know if i told the story about the way that it happened but i start building the truck out and just so happens that Joe was um, in the middle of building out his truck at the same time. And, you know, I'm not going to say that I didn't take a few pointers from you, Joe, but I didn't steal your truck intentionally. But they're pretty similar. As we're doing surface cleaning on all of this patio. You can see it's really nasty. It needs to be cleaned up. All that in the corner is really nasty. There's just a lot of dinge and mold up in, up in these eaves and up in this area. They took the TV out of here. So we're gonna clean in this area, do a little bit of property protection, pretty basic house wash. This is the north side. And as you can see, it's not really, really dirty. It's got a little bit of dinge to it. Look at her sitting over there. <laughs> Such a beautiful beast. This house has some of the wood trim and a wooden front door. Somebody has washed here before and they didn't bother doing anything about that either taping it up or covering it we discussed that with the client already something that she's not concerned about so we're gonna wash it we're gonna spray it with chemicals oh no we're gonna spray it with chemicals really green basketball goal I might uh might spray that off for them as a just as a freebie you know property protection is always number one on my list I know I don't show it a whole lot. Just because you don't see it doesn't mean we don't do it. We're gonna do surface cleaning and then we're gonna wash the back of this house. It is currently 1041. Boom, all clean, as you can tell. I'm in the process of trying to figure out this whole camera thing. I have a little uh, gimbal camera that I'm using, and it's a process. I mean, it definitely takes longer. Even carrying surface cleaner back, a little harder when I got a camera on my phone. Really is a beautiful property kind of an overcast day just means it's cool outside cleaning becomes a breeze when it's cooler outside I'm wearing my big hot rubber boots though I'm not rocking the Crocs today I typically don't if I'm gonna do surface cleaning I'm gonna put on boots because it keeps your feet dry go ahead and wet down some of this vegetation this concrete I'll probably put a house wash post treatment on it Normally that does really well. I don't have a whole lot of issues with striping really ever. There we go, we got chemicals. Like you're supposed to post treat on everything. Honestly guys, it's not always the case. I'm gonna get soaping on the back side of this house. I'm not gonna film because I've got to go in there and it's gonna be all over my head. As I was putting chemicals here, I heard some chirping, man. Look at these little guys. Look at them. This one right here actually jumped out. Poor fella. I hope the mama will come back, but I kind of doubt it. And yeah, that's, I'm not going to mess with them. The birds do look old enough to leave the nest. One of them flew out into the bushes over here kind of had to chase it down put it back in there but i mean it's 
it's not clean, but it's clean enough. You know, I'm not going to flood that area and wash them out and stuff. I'll let the client know, hey, you got a nest full of baby birds in your propane tank. I don't like to go around just harming animals. You know, it wasn't intentional. If I had known that that was even in there, I wouldn't have sprayed it at all. Try and rinse off any residual SH I may have gotten on them from dripping. And uh, they should be okay, I believe. My other camera is really low on battery. So I'm taking terribly too long trying to video accidentally bleaching birds. You know, we go from frogs to birds. I don't, I don't understand what's happening here. There's mama bird. Oh, she's not happy about me being right here. Well, her babies. She's really not gonna be happy when she finds out they smell like SH. Maybe I'm getting it, Joe, from from having a truck so similar to yours. I will say, I think mine's a lot more sexy, but we need one in the north, one in the south. I know what you guys are saying now. Devin Bird Murderer, the Bird Slayer. We're gonna call PETA. Get animal rights activists out here to get on this case. You know what I think about that? I think how far can we shoot with this thing? Soaked this side right here already and I'm letting it dwell. And we're standing, we're standing here on the line. This is with a 420cc motor, 7.1 gallon a minute, AR pump, set at about 2,000 PSI. Shooting with the M5, three to five gallon. The M5 twist, three to five gallon. You can see we're shooting right, right there past the basketball goal. And I don't have my little rolly thing, it's in the truck. I'm just gonna walk it out. Every step for me is about three feet. So one, two, three. Uh, let's see, step three. So that's 20 steps. It was 20 regular size steps, which is about three feet per step. So about 55, 60 feet. I've been here entirely too long, having fun on this property, trying to save the birds. Rinsed off that area really, really well. Any residual SH be gone. How beautiful it came out. You can see my before and afters here. And just look how beautiful and nice and white and shiny it came. Super thrilled, super happy. I know I am concrete before and afters. You can see how awesome those turned out. I've just got the two front, the front side and then the far side, the north side left to do. And I don't think there's anything interesting over there. I can hear mama bird in there with her babies. She did come over here and fly up in there and she hasn't come out. And I can hear them in there chirping. Anyways, I'm not a bird murderer. Don't mess with me. Okay guys, all done, all wrapped up, all rolled up. About to go get paid on this job. This house turned out absolutely amazing. All the whites are really, really whitened today. Cleaned up everything as you could tell. Took some time spraying a ton of water up there. There's a huge, huge wasp nest and I uh, wanted to go ahead and knock that out. If you guys like the content, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Comment below if there's anything specific you want to see. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe and do all the YouTube stuff. If you've been on YouTube before, I'm about to go get paid and wrap this job up. And I'll see you guys again tomorrow. We have uh, another house wash in a really nice neighborhood. And then Wednesday, we've got a house wash, roof wash, some concrete cleaning, sort of a little bit of everything. So, till then, see you guys. Peace. Oh, 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 oh,